Hello friends, this is part 2 Pedagogy of Mathematics. In this video, I am going to share multiple choice questions related to Pedagogy of Mathematics. The link for part 1 is given in the description and two more videos are there. One is on ICT and another one is on micro teaching. You can check the link from the description. So for now, let's start with our first question. First question is which of the following topics are not part of primary school mathematics curriculum as per NCF 2005? The answer for this is ratio. Ratio is not a part of primary school mathematics curriculum as per NCF. Next question is, which of the following resources can be used by a teacher to show that rectangles of different dimensions can have same area without using formula. So here it is written with but the correct is without. Okay. Yeah, thodi correction kalijay. With nahi hai. It is without. Without using formula. And the answer for this is option C. B and D. Graph paper and tiles. Ek bar isko dekhi. Fir next question pe move karte hai. Graph paper or tiles ke help se hum area find kar sakte hain without using formula. Chaliye, next question pe move karte hain. Question 3. Which of the following could be contributing factor to underachievement in mathematics? Gender. Social circular background, nature of mathematics, innate ability of person. The answer for this is option B. Next question is, which of the following is the most important aspects of making lesson plan while teaching mathematics to primary school children? We have four options. One is following the sequence of textbook. Option B is presenting mathematical concept in structured manner. Option C is providing opportunities to students to allow construction of concepts. Option D is writing activities and questions for reference. The correct answer for this is option C. Providing opportunities to students to allow construction of concepts. Okay, next question is question 5. Which of the following cannot be considered a feature of constructivist mathematics classroom? Option A is a role of language and dialogue in learning mathematics is given due attention. Option B is the teacher acknowledge from a given interaction. Option C is objective type test items are used as the primary mean of assessment. Connections between mathematics and other curricular area are highlighted. So here uh, the Best option is C. Objective type test items are used as a primary mean of assessment. Question 6. Which one of the following statement is in agreement with the construction, constructionist view of mathematics? So option A is mathematics is about learning fact. Mathematics are required to discover the truth. Mathematics is entirely objective. Visualization is an important aspect of mathematics. So here answer D is correct. Visualization is an important aspect of mathematics. Question 7. Which one of the following is not true with respect to learning of mathematics? 
ability to perform and excel in mathematics is intact teacher belief about learner have powerful impact on learning outcomes student social economic background impact their performance in school school language of instruction can impact a child performance in mathematics the correct answer is option a ability to perform and excel in mathematics is innate question 8 when he lay level referred to stage in the development of place value geometrical thinking fractions number concept so here the answer is geometrical thinking question 9 As per the recommendation of NCF two thousand five, primary school mathematics curriculum should focus on procedural knowledge. Option B is provide rigor in mathematical concept. Option C is prepare children for advanced mathematics. Option D is relate to children's everyday experience. So answer is very clear. option d is correct relate to children's everyday experience question 10 which one of the following is not a characteristic of effective mathematics pedagogy option a is following strict time rule when introducing a new concept option b is focusing pattern of students error option c is making connection with everyday experience option d is using various teaching learning strategies for a single concept option a is correct because the uh, in the question it is asked which one of the following is not a characteristics so following strict time rule when introducing a concept is the correct answer so it is not a characteristic of effective mathematics pedagogy let's move to next question now question 11 which one of the following happening in the classroom is an activity children engaged in exploration teacher explaining how to do some children reciting counting in the form of rhymes children copying from blackboard so here the correct answer is option a children engaged in exploration so this is a an activity Now let's move to next question. Question twelve: Which one of the following statement is true with respect to mathematics learning? So first option is mathematics can be only learned by rigorous practice. Mathematics is a difficult subject to learn. Generally. girls are weaker in mathematics everybody can learn mathematics so here the correct answer is option d niche answer thoda galat type ho gaya hai to answer iska hai d everybody can learn mathematics so question is which one of the following statement is true with respect to mathematics learning so answer is everybody can learn mathematics ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट इसको करेक्शन कर लेना इसकी डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर सो दिस वॉज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई होप यू लाइक द क्वेश्चन अगर क्वेश्चन अच्छे लगे तो फ्रेंड्स के साथ जरूर शेयर करना अगर आप चैनल पर नए हो तो चैनल की सपोर्ट के लिए सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो